<clears throat> and hello once again this is i rob mahoney and this time i'm going to talk about some indie films that i am looking forward to there's a few of them so i had to write them down because i'm getting old i can't remember them all remember them all so we're going to start with uh the third channel directed by michelle lynn blasky and this is like three weeks away from uh doing its uh principal photography so Exciting times over there at the third channel. That's me too. I'm an executive producer. Uh, we have Heather Hollow on board. We have Heather Beck. We have uh, Brendan Hayes, the amazing Brendan Hayes. Not that the other ones aren't amazing too, but when you got here, when you hear this guy's uh, voice, amazing. Uh, we also have uh, my my handwriting is terrible. Uh, Daniel Lund, and we also have Brad Schechter. Uh, if you guys remember, he played Little Buddy from the original. He's he's going to have a different role, obviously, because Little Buddy's no more. <laughs> like I said, this is three weeks away from principal photography, and uh, exciting times that uh, they're in the same location as the original Halloween season of the Witch, which they're going to have some shots of the, uh, the Silver Shamrock... Uh, factory which is pretty awesome so uh hopefully this uh will be ama amazing times for michelle and crew and uh we'll all be rooting them on of course so can't wait for that one to come out uh the next movie i'm going to talk about briefly is uh the evil three directed by cj vecchio hopefully hope i got that pronunciation right and uh they have, uh, their Indiegogo is going right now. They have 76 backers at 31% currently. And they have 24 days remaining. So, uh, go, uh, they got some amazing perks over there. Go get some. You could be Team Jason. You could be Team, uh, Leatherface or Team Michael. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see who wins. I mean, like, in J Freddy versus Jason, there really wasn't an ultimate winner, so maybe there'll be an ultimate winner on this one. We can only hope. But the only way you're going to find out is help them. So, uh, next one we're going to talk about is briefly, because I don't know much about it, but I know the person who's directing. She's an amazing special effects and makeup artist. Uh, the movie is called It Feeds, and the director that I'm talking about is uh, Jamie Apple. And, you know, everything Jamie, Jamie touches turns into gold. So, uh, they're going to have their Indiegogo soon. So, uh, go check out the It Feeds um, Facebook page for all the uh, current updates. Uh, I have no idea what uh, this. Uh, I'll come back to that one because I have no idea what I wrote down there. I'm terrible at this. Okay. The next one is another one I don't know much about yet, but uh, I did get a special thanks. Uh, the, the movie's called Smile. It's directed by October Lang. Uh, I believe that their Indiegogo has finished already, and uh, there I, I believe they get, they'll, be, they'll, be, they'll be about to hit pre-production soon, so... Uh, uh, go, uh, if you don't know where to find it, uh, contact Amy Crabtree. She has a link to it. I have a link to it, so message me. All right, the uh, one I just got involved in is The Horror, The Horror We Make. And, uh, it's a documentary, uh, directed by B Brian, uh, Brian Luciano Basuglia. And, uh, it's going to be a horror, uh, it's going to be a documentary about why we make these things and what makes horror so amazing to work with uh there's going to be some amazing names attached to this uh including reggie bannister from the phantasm series um we're gonna have um Vernon wells uh from road warrior we're gonna have um uh david howen thornton from terrifier uh we're gonna have um Rachel Riley from Jurassic City. We're going to have Tasha Tacosa from uh, Seventh Revelation and Je Jed Rowan from Seventh Revelation. And uh, that's, 
that one's going to be, I mean, everything Brian touches is amazing. And uh, I just signed on for a associate producer for that. So I uh, can't wait for that one. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about uh, briefly is the Sawyer Massacre, uh, directed by Steve Merlo. They're in their finishing funds right now. They are at 64% with 13 days left. So go help those guys out because the trailer is, oh my God, like, wow. Uh, that's all I can say. Wow. I mean, I I very rarely have goosebumps anymore for trailers. And that one gave me goosebumps. So go help those guys out over there uh, to bring Leatherface, the real Leatherface, back to chain. Uh, back to Texas. Forget Bulgaria. <clears throat> Next one is Jonathan Brooker's Mothman. I, I believe that they uh, are still in their finishing funds right now. Uh, I believe they got 12 backers at 28% right now. So uh, I think they got 21 more days left on that. Uh, go help those guys out. You know, I, I love a good moth, uh, Mothman movie and, uh, a good friend of mine, isn't it? T Tiffany Sashia. So, go help those guys out over there. Uh, Never Hike Alone 2. Vincent DeSante is back. Bringing Jason back to the uh, forefront. Starring Tom Matthews as Tommy again. And uh, I can never just get this guy's name right. Uh, Vincent Gustarofo. Oh, that's the best pronunciation I hear. Uh, playing uh, Sheriff Rick Colon. So, uh, <clears throat> they're in their Indiegogo now, and, uh, every time that, uh, Vincent DeSante opens a Indiegogo, it just, it, it goes balls to the wall, you know, so, um, his first two movies were fantastic, I have no doubt that this one will be as well. Uh, the next one, Oh, From the Ashes comes Debbie Does Demons, directed by Donald Farmer. This one, uh, is starting to breed new life again, and, uh. It has a great cast of uh, uh, Jessa Flux, uh, Ronnie Joa, jo Ronnie Joa, um, Adam Freeman, Angel Bradford, my good friend Angel, is in this, uh, Dixie Gears, and um, Morgana Thompson. So a lot of uh, good-looking women in there, you know. So and I'm an executive producer, so it's good to see that movie back on track again. And, uh, that's, oh, um, Valentine's Bluff, uh, directed by Thomas Smith and, uh, produced by, uh, uh, Chuck Ryan and, um, Ro Roland Keller. Uh, those guys just dropped their trailer, another fantastic trailer. Uh, the indie, the indie scene is doing some fantastic work right now. And, uh. Check out Valentine's Bluff. So, uh, if you guys want to add any more links down below for uh, um, a movie that you're anticipating, uh, leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribing, you're liking, and you're uh, clicking the bell for all notifications. And uh, I will have some more updates on some more uh, independent films out there. And if you haven't heard yours, I'm sorry. I am going to be doing a second one uh, in about a month or so. So I uh, just wanted to leave this one at about 9, 10 minutes. So we're at about the 9 minute point right now. And uh, big news also. Uh, another movie that I am a co-producer on is uh, Amber Road. It just hit uh, post-production. And... Uh, We'll be having a date soon for some uh, streaming releases. Um, if you haven't seen uh, Seventh Revelation yet, it's on uh, Tubi. You can watch it on Tubi. Uh, Brian Luciano Busaglia directs. I am uh, executive producer on that. Uh, one of my my favorite movies that I've been involved in. And I, there's no disrespect to um, any of the films that I've been involved in. But this one... Uh, was like a passion project of mine uh, because it was during it was shot during such a hard time when the uh, pandemic was at its full force 
and uh the this was shot all remotely so uh it's it's a very special film to me just because it, there was a lot of hard work and dedication by everybody involved uh considering that no one could be in the room together with each other so uh, go check that out on uh, uh Tubi and uh let us know what you think because I think it's a fantastic film and I'm so proud of it and uh so uh this has been your roaming reporter Rob Mahoney saying uh oh yeah let me go let me show you my my mask is on the walls. Yeah, yeah. My little night light. Yes, yes, Jason lights up at night. <laughs> I went over my limit, but have a good one, guys, and much love. See you at the movies.